Hello guys, welcome to this channel. This is Bonsai High and today we're going to be working on a bonsai forest. Uh, so to begin, we'll be using these pines that I actually purchased at Walmart for a dollar a piece. Um, originally they were selling a gift for Christmas. So now that they are on for sale for 75% off, I decided to purchase a few of these and make a forest. Um, so we're going to begin by actually uh, pruning these back a little bit, get a little bit of shape in them, and uh, we're going to start by wiring some of the lower branches and clipping off some uh, branches over here so that we can actually get the whole uh, old looking tree right here going on. Originally I was going to use this container as the trainer pot for the bonsai forest, but I decided to just use it to collect moss and let it soak in in water so that I can be able to use that there. I missed. I'm going to to skip on that, I'm going to pretty much just work on the tree itself before I start messing with that. I want to stress out the tree more than I should, more than I'm actually going to already. Go like this, right there. I keep that one. Too weak. I'm gonna get rid of these. Let me just keep this one for now. I'm go ahead and remove these. Cut this one back just a little bit. I want to be able to see the tree in all angles too to figure out which branches should be out or not, not just from one. I have a really strong branch right here that can come out just this way. I do not need this right here. We slowly start to see how the tree itself starts to gain a little bit more shape as it goes. Now, prospectively, all we need to just focus on the moment is the wiring. Bring some branches down. Normally, as the branches get heavier and the outside world the branches start to fall down and that's actually what we're trying to achieve here we're trying to make it look a little bit older even though there's still a young pine I have to use some thicker wire right over here this one specifically Like I said, you always wire two branches at a time. Try to keep it a little bit loose to allow some growth there, but with enough game, you want to be able to put your thumb just to create that pressure of where the vent needs to be made because you don't want it to just grasp on that tree and slowly put some pressure there to lower that branch. You also for this case is not it's necessary but you do want to be able to not get in the way of any new buds um, with the wire because you don't want them to disturb the buds so they can continue growing if you want some potential branches there now that we have it in place you start noticing that we do have a lot of growth here branches are a little bit too long still so 
You want to be able to cut back a little bit more, especially since we don't have that much space here. Um, any shooting star pointing up, you want to get rid of, of course. Anything pointing downwards, you also want to get rid of. This one's a little too big, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And this one, you're going to bring it forward right there. Get some thinner wire. I already did the higher wiring right here on the lower branches, as you can see. I left plenty of space so that I can actually be able to cut off the wire in the future and also so that it does not damage completely the branches or I might just actually just leave it there since like I said this is a forest we're trying to keep it as natural as possible so if there's any curvatures we're gonna take advantage of those um, so yeah I'm just gonna continue right here but just uh, wiring the lower branches like I said I'm just using some thin copper wire really really thin copper wire and we're just trying to get that movement there that um, that old feeling right there it's not going to be enough to create some stress on the tree but we just want to be able to lower those thin growing branches keep them in place since I will not be touching this for a really long time and I'd rather just get that look that I want for now so that later in the future uh, this is just going to be much easier work and again I'm not wiring completely I'm just using enough wire to get those branches to to fall down and as I progress I believe I'm going to stop like right here just so that I can have that new growth uh, appearance as most pine trees do have. This one right here is not going to actually fall too much, it's just going to be right there. Pinch it a little bit, just like that. And you always want to wire from the bottom up just to create that small pressure that is going to bring down the, the branch. Like this one, I can move it just like that. And there you go. I could opt to wire this one, but I feel like as everything progresses we can definitely just lower them more just like that I'm not gonna do any major clipping there or cleaning um, I might just take off the branches that point downwards here just to give it a much neat appearance this one right here I'm gonna I'm going to get rid of originally I wanted to keep it but maybe I can actually just get some ramification growing there and there you go as we put them down here you can already start to see how we're going to be placing these little fellas to give us our sire look this one I decided to just leave it a little bit more full. I feel like this one could be more like towards the back, just like that, just to give it a more um, background to it. That's what I'm gonna do, and then eventually later on I'm gonna wire some of these little branches down and just continue the same way as that one. It's just that that one had a whole different type of style when it came to the branches. And like I said, all of these right here, I'm going to see if I can just use them as cuttings. Um, so, 
I can keep propagating. I'm gonna move on to the next one right here. All right, so now that we got to this stage, what we're going to do is that we're going to set the trees to the side and on the bottom, right over here, we're going to use 50% Akadama, 25% Lava Rock, and 25% Pumice. And this is going to be our bottom layer for the trees. I also have some potting mix that I will be using with this, but this is going to be my main drainage slash mixed for it. Okay. Uh, now we're going to proceed by getting this tree off of here and what you can do is also by playing around with the tree or you can also do a diagram of where you would want to put them. I drew some possible patterns here and uh, it's actually why, where I'm laying them out right now. Um, you always want to keep the smallest at the front, the tallest at the back. And actually, this is not bad. I actually like the way that this one looks like. From here, yeah, it's a it's a good possibility right there. As soon as I'm finished with that, I'm gonna do a little turn around, and show you how. I'm gonna turn it around and show you how everything goes from here. So <clears throat> now that this is done, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, proceed and clean out all of the roots that are over here. I actually just keep some of that moss right here. I collected moss only once and I just have a tray where I propagate my moss. I'm just gonna add that potting soil here and Collect this right here. Keep the tree. Level this out. Eventually, after the moss, I'm going to put some rocks that I will probably collect later on. Turn this baby around. All right. So I'm facing the back of it right now. You guys are facing the front of the forest. All right. So now that I have added this thin layer of mix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get rid of the pockets of air as much as possible to compact this soil. And after I'm done doing so, I'm going to add some fertilizer. Um, fertilizer is actually a pallet right here. It's a eight to nine months release. I'm going to add a generous amount here because I do want these to grow well. The next step right here would actually be adding some of that moss that I've been growing. Just like that. I'm going to focus on on the back of the forest right now. Like I said, I tried to grow my own moss. But if you can't grow your own moss, what I would suggest you to do is that if you're going to go out collecting moss, don't take it all. 
At least not from the same spot. I'll take them all. Leave some so that I can continue to propagate. You know, just, I guess, take some from here and there. And if you are going to take some moss from the wild, sterilize it. What I like to do is to have separate containers filled with water and I gradually move them from one to another until it's completely clear and just soak it up there so that you're not bringing any external bacteria onto your your specimens it would literally suck if your specimens die due to a bacteria out there something that could have easily prevented Alright, so this concludes the video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below what are your thoughts about this project. If you want, you can also follow me on Instagram. It is also a Bonsai High and on Facebook. Till next time.